On Pokemon Go Live, trainers, it's time to make a splash. Our water festival returns at June 7th at 1pm PDT, which is actually 6am today, Friday, in Australia. With water type Pokemon such as Magikarp, Whelma appearing more frequently in the wild. Some lucky trainers may even encounter rare shiny Sheldon. This is your chance to get shiny Magikarp and shiny Whelma if you missed them out in the previous events. Plus, enjoy the field research tasks highlighting water type Pokemon until June 21 at 1 pm PDT. Probably like June 22, well, 6 am for us. Alongside increased appearance of water type Pokemon appearing all over the world, you'll be able to earn. Three times Stardust for catching water type Pokemon. Keep that in mind, only water type Pokemon. Plus, two kilometer eggs will hatch exciting Pokemon such as Turtledar, Mudkip, and Corphish. Then again, you'll see them everywhere anyway. So, and earn double candy and Stardust for every egg hatched. It's pretty good then. Raid battles will also feature powerful water type Pokemon for the duration of the celebration, including the exciting return of the legendary Pokemon, Koga. Kyoga, Kyoga, I don't know how you actually mean to say that. But I've also seen Tentacruel and Shelter. And well, we used to have Omastar, which is actually returning for this event. So there's a bit of an overlap there. Anyways, with Kyoga, back to Kyoga. And if you challenge Kyoga during the event and come out victorious, there's a chance you'll cut its shiny form. So, trainers. Dive on in in this water focused event before it ends on June 21st. I'm sure, as you many know, if you're in Melbourne and its weather's pretty erratic, then again, it was predicted to have really heavy rainfall. But just as happens, just when this water festival event starts, it's pouring the whole day, or at least the morning. Haven't been out for the rest of the day. So, so suitable, probably water boosted water Pokemon. Heck yeah. I'm off. Laters!